Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're playing a little MLB The Show 20. Continuing our Salt Lake Trappers relocation franchise here on Mama's Basement. And uh, just a reminder, we are in the year 2022. And let's look at where we're at. This is episode number three. We are taking on the Atlanta Braves and Mike Fultonavich in game number 14 here. And then we will follow it by uh, quick managing uh, six games after that against the Braves, the Brewers, and the Reds. We come in in second place in the NL West, half a game behind the Colorado Rockies. And we are at home for this one at Statesman Park in Salt Lake City. We're 8-5. and five. The Braves come in at 6-6. Six and six. And Corbin Martin will get the nod for the Salt Lake Trappers here in this game number 14. Let's get into the first inning. Again, Corbin Martin will be our starter. 2.77 ERA, a 1.38 whip, 14 strikeouts to 5 walks. And he has given up 13 hits in 13 innings. Ozzy Albies will lead things off for the Atlanta Braves. We get things underway here in Salt Lake City. First pitch, swung on and missed. Actually, it wasn't the first pitch. It was a strikeout. I forgot the first innings. We're not doing every pitch. We'll be doing every pitch in the third, sixth, and ninth innings of all these games. And another strikeout for Corbin Martin. Dansby Swanson goes down. Freddie Freeman, the batter now with two outs. And 0-0 count. And Freeman's going to lace this one into the gap in left center field. That one's going to split the defenders, roll all the way to the wall. Finally chased down there by Hunter Renfro in left. And now we will get to face Ronald Acuna Jr. With a runner on second after Freeman's double, Acuna Jr. swings and misses. That'll end the top of the first inning. We go to the middle of one, no score. Braves leave a runner in scoring position. We're going to face Mike Fultonavich. 5.06 ERA, making his third start of the season. 1.41 whip, 11 strikeouts to two walks, 13 hits given up in 10 and two-thirds innings. And the shortstop, Danny Mendick, will lead things off for the Salt Lake Trappers. 3-2 count. Delivery from Fultonavich. And Mendick draws a walk in the first at bat of the game for Salt Lake City. Josh Rojas now at the plate. Five-game hitting streak, hitting 333 with a home run of five RBIs here in the early going of the 2022 season. Danny Mendick has pretty good speed at first. Rojas lifts this one to left. Left center. And the center fielder comes in to make the catch. That's Ronald Acuna Jr., I believe, out there in center. Let's look at our starting lineup. We've got Mendick, Rojas, Eski, Renfro, Fagley, Brujan, Carroll. Wyatt Matheson is at first today, and Corbin Martin is on the hill. Eduardo Escobar at the plate now with the runner on first. He's going to ground it right to second, and they're going to turn the double play as Freddie Freeman comes off the bag but was able to keep his foot on Long enough to record the out. We go to the second inning with no score. Leading off the second for the Braves will be Marcel Ozuna. 317 average with one home run on the year. Here's the uh, ground ball to the right side. And Wyatt Matheson steps on the bag. Salt Lake Trappers defense looks like this. Rojas, Carroll, and Renfro in the outfield. Escobar, Mendick, Brujan, and Matheson in the infield left to right. And now we get Austin Riley. 1-2 count with one out. Nobody on. Here's the delivery. And Austin Riley swings and misses for out number two. Now we get Shea Langlier. And he's going to lift this one to left. That's going to be down for a base hit. Probably extra bases. And it's a two-out double for Shea Langlier. Dylan Cousins now the batter for the Braves. He's the eighth hole hitter. He swings and misses at the changeup down and away. And Corbin Martin gets out of the inning, leaves another runner in scoring position, and now we have Hunter Renfro to lead off the bottom of the inning for the Trappers. Hitting 240 on the year, has some good pop in his bat. This one he takes just off the outside corner. For ball number four, another walk by Mike Fultonavich. Brings up Josh Fagley now. Bottom of the second, runner on, nobody out. Swinging bunt by Fagley. And he's going to be thrown out. It works as a sacrifice, kind of. An unintentional sacrifice. Moves the runner to second. We look at the Braves' defense. Ozuna, Okunia, and Cousins in the outfield. Freeman, a pretty good first baseman. And now we have Vidal Brujan 
at the plate. He's going to pop it up. Should be out number two. And it is taken care of there. Is it Ozzy Albies a second for the Braves, I believe? Corbin Carroll now the center fielder for the Trappers. And he's going to lift this one to his center field counterpart for the Braves. Ronald Acuna Jr. makes the catch. That'll end the inning. We're through two. Here at Statesman Park, no score yet. We move to the third. We'll show you every pitch of this third inning. And we're going to start things off here with Mike Fultonavich, the pitcher spot due up. Facing Corbin Martin, first pitch of the at-bat taken for ball one. Down off the plate, second delivery up high. It's 2-0 to the opposing pitcher, Mike Fultonavich. Here's the ground ball right side. Bruhan has it. On to Matheson at first for the out. And it'll bring up Ozzy Albies, the leadoff hitter for the Braves. As the batting order turns over, swinging bunt. Fagley comes out of his crouch, throws him out at first quite easily. And a quick two outs here in the top of the third. We get Dansby Swanson at the plate, a shortstop for Atlanta. And he takes strike one on the inside half of the plate. 0 for 1 on the day so far is Swanson. And it is... Count evened up at one apiece. This now a high fastball taken for two and one by Dansby Swanson. He fouls one off. And the 2-2 delivery from Corbin Martin off the inside corner for ball, for, uh, ball number three. And a strikeout on the outside half of the plate. Paints the black. And we go to the bottom of inning number three. Again, we'll show you every pitch here in the bottom of inning number three. Wyatt Matheson, our first baseman, will lead things off. He takes ball one from Mike Fultonavich. 26th pitch of the night here by Fultonavich. It's 2-0 to Matheson. Check swing. He went around. 2-1 delivery. Bottom of the third. Salt Lake looking for their first hit, and this could be it. A line drive to third. And Fagley is going to beat it out. Or Matheson, excuse me, is going to beat it out. Now we've got Corbin Martin, the pitcher. He's going to try to move a runner over, and he's not going to be able to do it. In fact, he almost bunts into the double play, but he's able to beat it out at first. Here's Danny Mendick now. Trapper shortstop. With the pitcher on first and one out, Mendick fouls one down the third baseline. This one lifted to left. Should be an easy play out there by Marcelo Zuna. He makes the catch. Four out, number two, and now we get Josh Rojas. Rojas. Actually, I think Rojas is the left fielder. Hunter Renfro is in right. And Rojas checks swing. He's quickly down 0-2 in the count. He's going to step out. And now the third pitch taken inside for ball number one. And this one's lifted to right. Should be an easy play out there. And the catch is made by Dylan Cousins. Due up for the Braves in the top of the fourth will be Freddie Freeman, Acuna Jr., and Marcel Ozuna. We go to the fourth inning here in Salt Lake City. No score. Freddie Freeman, one for one on the day, has one of the Braves' two hits. One-two delivery from Corbin Martin. Ground ball towards third. Actually, it's towards short, but the third baseman was playing there as the shift was on. But it gets through, and Freddie Freeman is on first with a single. Now we have Ronald Acuna Jr. He struck out back in the first inning. 3-1 delivery to Acuna Jr. And he's going to lift this one to right. And this is Hunter Renfer. Renfro, <laughs> he drifts over and makes the catch. First out of the inning, runner on first for Marcel Ozuna. We're going to play every seven games here in this franchise as we start the 5-4-3 double play to get us out of the inning. So we're going to play... This is game number 14. We'll play game number 21, which will be against the Cincinnati Reds. And we will quick manage all the other ones. So that way I can, you know, get the players in that I want to be in. Still control who's getting days off here and there. And uh, control our rotation and all of that stuff. I don't want to simulate and just turn things over to the CPU. I want to be involved. Hunter Renfro. He's going to admire that one as it travels down the left field line. And it's a home run for Hunter Renfro. It's his sixth of the season. And it's going to break the scoreless tie. It's just a solo shot for Renfro. And it's one to nothing. Salt Lake with the lead over the Braves. Josh Fagley now. 
He's 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the delivery on a 2-2 count from Fultonavich. This one's going to be ripped down the left field line. It bounces inside the chalk. And Fagley's going to round first, and he's going to walk into second with a stand-up double. Bottom of the fourth inning, one to nothing, Trappers. 1-0 count now to Vidal Brujan, our second baseman. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Brujan swings and misses. He's going to strike out for out number two. So we've got a runner in scoring position, Fulton Avich. Still on the hill for the Braves, making pitch number 52 here in the bottom of the fourth inning. To Corbin Carroll with uh, no balls, no strikes, and Corbin Carroll flies out to right. Dylan Cousins runs it down right at the wall. The end of four. Braves, no runs on three hits. Trappers, one run on three hits. No errors for either side. And Austin Riley will lead things off in the top of the fifth for Atlanta. He's going to draw a walk from Corbin Martin. 61st pitch of the night for Martin. And that'll bring up Shea Langlier. Langlier? I don't know how to say his name. And Langliers, I think Langliers? Langliers? Langlier? Is it French? I don't know. He flies out to left anyway for the first out and brings up Dylan Cousins. Cousins 0 for 1 on the day. Runner on first. He's going to drive this one to left field. That's going to roll into the corner. Over by the Fountains. It's cut off there by Josh Rojas out in left. And he's going to get the ball back into the infield in time to hold the runner at third and keep the Braves off the board for now. Here's a ground ball to short by Mike fulton -Navich. And the pitcher is going to drive in a run. Throw almost gets away from Danny Mendick. A nice play by Matheson to save it. And save another run for the time being. Here's Ozzy Albies now. As the order turns over for Atlanta, he's going to rip this one down the first baseline. And the Braves take the lead. Run comes into score. Albies making the turn to second. Here comes the throw, and it's offline, and Albies is in. With a two-out double, he gets himself into scoring position for Dansby Swanson. He's 0-2 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts on the day. 0-1 delivery, and Swanson lifts this one to left. Rojas is there, should have it, he does. And that'll end the Braves' half of the fifth. Atlanta scores two runs and has taken the lead 2-1. to one. We go to the bottom of the fifth now. Wyatt Matheson at the plate. Matheson on an 0-2 delivery. Checks his swing. He strikes out anyway. Ball's in the dirt. And a throw down to first will easily retire Matheson. And that brings up Corbin Martin. In the fifth inning, always uh, have to decide if we're going to keep our pitcher in or not. It looks like we're going to keep him in. And Corbin Martin swings and misses. Fourth strike out of the day for Mike fulton -Avich. And with two outs in the bottom of the fifth, our order turns over. And we have Danny Mendick at the plate. Danny Mendick lifts one to left. That one's towards the gap. Center fielder Acuna Jr. drifts over and makes the play for out number three. We go to the sixth inning. We are past the midway point of this game. Sixth inning action now here in Salt Lake City. Major League Baseball in Salt Lake, our relocation franchise. We've moved the Arizona Diamondbacks up from the scorching hot desert to Salt Lake City. A little cooler temperatures here in this global warming world. And this one is fouled down the left field line. 1-1 one, one count here in the sixth. Driven to right, and it is gone. Third home run of the year for Freddie Freeman. It's a solo shot and gives the Braves a 3-1 lead now in the sixth. We leave Martin in. He has thrown 79 pitches now, facing Ronald Acuna Jr. with nobody out in the top of the sixth. Again, we're showing every pitch of the third, sixth, and ninth innings, and we'll do it throughout this series, uh, regardless of how long the inning is or how many runs or whatever. That way you never know. Keep you on your toes. Here's a drive to center. It'll be played out there by Corbin Carroll. And now we have Jimmy Nelson in the pitch. He's got a 6.75 ERA. And uh, he came in in our, uh, if you recall, in our very first game of this franchise. He's the one that came in and uh, the Dodgers blew him out of the water in the ninth inning. We had a 7-1 to lead and the Dodgers came back and scored like five runs that were attributed to him. And then our closer, Bummer, went on to blow the save against the Dodgers. Austin Riley at the plate now after a Jim and Ellison strikeout. Runner going. Here comes the throw. Got him. So two outs in the sixth. Austin Riley at the plate now. He swings and misses. 
And a clean inning from Jimmy Nelson after he comes in to relieve Corbin Martin, who gives up the home run to Freddie Freeman. Bottom of the sixth we go here in Salt Lake. Josh Rojas will lead things off. Mike Fultonavich still on the hill for the Braves. He's thrown an economical 62 pitches. He could go a while if he keeps performing well here. He's in the uh, discussion for a possible complete game with this pitch count and this inning. Rojas, 2-1 delivery from Fultonavich. Fultonavich, Rojas fouls it off, 2-2 count. Two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. Here's the delivery. Rojas fouls it off again, fights it off. Nice inside fastball. This one is down. Rojas finds a hole on the right side. A little seam eye single. And the Trappers have a runner on here in the bottom of the sixth. Here's Eduardo Escobar. Esky takes the first pitch off the inside corner. He's 0 for 2 on the day, hitting 278 on the season. And Fultonavich second pitch in there for a strike. Rojas is on first. He takes his lead. This one's ripped into right field. That one's going to get down. It's going to chase Dylan Cousins back to the wall. Rojas rounds second. He's going to end up at third. It is a no-out double for Eduardo Escobar, and the Trappers are in business. For Hunter Renfrew, who is one for one with a home run on the day, responsible for driving in the only Trappers run in the ballgame. 0-1 oh, count. This one is going to be a broken bat. Chopper down the right side. He is tagged out. A run does come in to score, though. It's 3-2. Braves with the lead with a runner. Tying runner is uh, 90 feet away on third. Here's Josh Fagley now. Fagley lifts one to left. That one could be ticketed for the fountain. And it is into the fountain a splash landing. Hunter, or uh, Josh Fagley, I'm sorry, a two-run home run. Drives in Hunter Renfro. And the Trappers jump out in front, four to three. Beat all Brujan at the plate now, check swing. So this game, a bloop and a blast, has turned it on its head. And beat all Brujan at the plate. One, one count with one out. Fultonavich still in the game, 78th pitch. Has lost the lead now after three runs here in this bottom of the sixth inning. And Brujan rips it to right. And it is out of here, Vidal Brujan. Third home run of the year for Vidal. Living La Vidal Brujan. And Patrick Weigel, Vigel, Weigel, Weigel? Seriously, I don't know. I suck with names, guys, bear with me. I've never heard of this guy before. He's gonna come in to face Corbin Carroll on an 0-1 count with one out. And the Braves struggling here in the sixth inning. They've given up four runs, a check swing. He went around. No, he did not. One, two count with one out. Bottom of the six, Corbin Carroll swings and misses. It's in the dirt, but easily taken care of for out number two. Now we have Wyatt Matheson at the plate with two outs. Matheson swings and misses at the first pitch. It's 0-1. And a check swing, can't hold back, it's 0-2 quickly. Here's the delivery from Weigel. And it's swung on and missed. Matheson looking foolish on the swing, but the Bra uh, Braves give up four runs to the Salt Lake Trappers. They now trail five to three. As we skip the seventh and head to the eighth, we have Ty Buttry coming in for the Trappers. Out of our bullpen, he has not given up a run yet this season. And he's gonna be the setup guy here today, try to turn things over to Bummer to get the save. This one's lifted deep to right. That one is back in the track and there's gonna be room it looks like for Hunter Renfro to flag it down for the out. Dansby Swanson at the plate now for the Braves. We're in the top of the eighth with one out. 0-2 delivery from Buttry. And Swanson looks at the high fastball. It's now two outs. Freddie Freeman, check swing, got him. He went around, that's the end of the Braves in the eighth. Still five to three trappers with the lead. We go to the bottom of the inning. Eskies up now, one for three with a double on the day. Facing Jeremy Walker of the Braves. And Walker. Entices him to fly out to center. And we have Hunter Renfro at the plate now with a three two count and one out. Check swing and he is out of there. Doesn't like the call, thought it was off the plate, but it was strike three. 
two outs, here is Josh Fagley. Gave the Trappers the lead with a huge two-run home run. Back in the sixth, he swings and misses the inside pitch. At the end of the eighth inning, it's 5-3 to three Salt Lake, and we're going to have our closer coming in here for the ninth. See if we can close things down. Aaron Bummer, four saves and five save opportunities. The only one who blew was back in the first game of the season, and none of the runs that he gave up in that game were attributed to him. He just gave up the hit to blow the save. Here is Ronald Acuna Jr. We'll show you every pitch here of the ninth both the top and the bottom, if there is a bottom. 2-2 delivery now from Bummer. Bummer. Kind of a three-quarters delivery. Probably really tough on lefties. He gets the strikeout there of Ronald Acuna. And now we have Marcelo Zuna with one out. Top of the ninth. Braves need two runs here. Marcelo Zuna, 0-1 count. He looks at a strike. It's now 0-2, and this one swung on and missed. Now we have Austin Riley, final out for the Braves. Last chance here for Atlanta. They need two runs, though, so they just need base runners more than anything. But Austin Riley's going to lift it deep. That one is back towards the gap, and it is gone. Luckily, just a solo home run for Austin Riley. And the Trappers are still one out away from notching win number nine on the season. Shea Langliers is the batter. 2-0 count, now it's a 3-0 count. Uh-oh, Bummer's in a little bit of trouble here. Here's the delivery and they're gonna put Langliers on and that'll bring the go-ahead run to the plate. Braves bring in Justin Dean to pinch run for Langliers and now we have Dylan Cousins. It's so a lefty on lefty matchup here. Should be tough for the Braves, should be our, in our favor. With a runner on first, 0-1 delivery from Bummer. This one, ground ball to second, Bruhan. On to Matheson, ball game. Win number nine on the early season for the Salt Lake Trappers. We lead the season series over the Braves one to nothing. We tie the Colorado Rockies atop the NL West with a nine and five record. Josh Fagley went two for four with a two-run home run and a double. Freddie Freeman for the Braves, three for four with a home run, a double, and an RBI. Austin Riley with a home run as well. Ozzie Albies, one for four with an RBI. And now we're going to get into the second game of this series. Sean Newcomb facing Alex Young, and we just uh, quick manage it here. We are trailing five to two. We end up losing five to two. Your winning pitcher is Sean Newcomb. He goes five innings, gives up six hits, two runs, both earned, eight strikeouts to two walks. The Braves get the win. This three-game series is all tied up at one. We hand the ball to Madison Bumgarner here for game number 16 on the season. And again, we'll quick manage it. And we end up coming from behind late in the game to win it three to one. Madison Bumgarner with the win. David Peterson with the loss. Mad Bum is your player of the game. Giving up one earned run on the day. All right, new series now. We go back, or uh, we stay home, sorry, against the Milwaukee Brewers. We'll quick manage this one as well. And we again, we come from behind late in the game and get a 7-6 victory over Milwaukee. Josh Rojas, 3-4 for four with two RBIs. Taylor Clark earns the win for us. And now the second game of this series against the Brewers. We're 11-6. The Brewers are 6-11. Luke Weaver is on the hill for us here today. We quick manage this one as well. And it's a 2-0 Milwaukee win. So again, this series is split 1-1. As we head into the rubber match with Anthony Desclafani facing Corbin Martin, who we just saw in the first game of this episode. We're 11-7. The Brewers are 7-11. We're going to quick manage this one. And then we've got, I believe, one more to quick manage against the Reds. As we beat Milwaukee here 5-4, your player of the game is Eduardo Escobar. Had a home run, two RBIs, and a double. Taylor Clark gets the win. Mark Inouye comes in and gets the save for Salt Lake. All right, final game of this episode. Jose Lopez at Alex Young from Salt Lake City. It's the Reds and the Trappers in the series opener. And the Trappers win at 6-3. So we're going to close out this episode with a record of 13-7. Jimmy Nelson gets the win. Jay Reese Familia with the loss for the Reds. Look, look at the standings here in the National Leagues. We close this out. 
The Nationals at 11 and 10 lead the East. The Cubs at 13 and 7 lead the Central. We lead the West at 12 and 7. The Padres are a game behind us at 12 and 8. The Cardinals half a game behind the Cubs. The Braves are 9 and 10. Uh, nobody besides the Nationals has a winning record in the NL East. All right, let's look at the American League now. The Red Sox are 15 and 5. The defending champion Twins are 13 and 8. They won the uh, World Series in 2021, which we simulated. They beat the Dodgers. And the Angels are 16 and 5. The Astros 13 and 8. The Rangers 12 and 7 would be your, your two wild card teams. Um, if the playoffs started today, obviously we're only 20 games into the season. All right, that's it for Salt Lake Trappers Relocation Franchise episode number three. It's MLB The Show 20. It's Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.